This is the future. So Digital Extremes nuke one of the best nuke setup in Warframe, if you are playing Thermal Sunder Garuda, or Thermal Sunder Harrow, then you might be surprised that the power level of the combo doesn't show you any millions of damage anymore when you constantly cast the heat Thermal Sunder on enemies. You may not realize this, but a subsumed Thermal Sunder Garuda or Harrow sometimes is more broken compared to Thermal Sunder as obviously, Harrow and Garuda have abilities to restore energy. Then, the heat procs of Thermal Sunder does scale infinitely, allowing you to deal massive damage to Steel Path and beyond enemies. Right now, that infinite damage scaling is removed. Digital Extremes changed the Thermal Sunder Helminth ability to have an altered attribute of scaling from heat status on enemies capped to 10 times ability damage. Long story short, you can't nuke high level enemies with Thermal Sunder anymore, and expect huge damage from the combo. But, is Thermal Sunder bad right now as a subsume ability? While it has lost its power to do insane damage even against high level enemies, it's still one of the best subsume ability in my opinion since you can still use Thermal Sunder for leveling your Warframe solo in the Sanctuary Onslaught. There are two leveling builds I recommend while playing solo right now. The first one is the most obvious Kuva Braminuke using the Savage Silence Augment. Just subsume Banshee's Silence in your Warframe, then add range in the Savage Silence Augment mod. Then, just nuke everything with Kuva Brahma in Telstos at a normal star chart to gain stealth affinity fast and level up your Warframe in just a couple of minutes. The second method is the Thermal Sunder nuking in Sanctuary Onslaught. All you need to do is subsume Thermal Sunder in your Warframe, mod your Warframe with Arch in Vitality and then high range and also, use Molt Augmented for more damage. After a few conduit jump, you will max rank your Warframe fast. If you get lucky and get a small map wherein you can nuke enemies easily, then you can max rank your Warframe in just one conduit run. Another thing that I should mention is that Thermal Sunder is also useful for a Void Fisher run at Titania. If you want to crack relics in normal Void Fisher runs, do an exterminate or capture, then Thermal Sunder Titania is the best and by far the fastest Warframe combo that you can rely on. Overall, the power of Thermal Sunder against high level enemies got nuked to oblivion but this doesn't mean that the subsume ability is worthless right now. It's still the best when it comes to leveling, or just nuking enemies in normal star chart levels to farm things that you need in the game. The nerf might be a bummer, but I think it's warranted since it would be a bad PR this Christmas when they released Gauss Prime, and eventually, Thermal Sunder is better when used with another Warframe, so that's all about it. Thank you so much for watching. Squad leader signing off.